So the Conservation Champions Project's been running for five years and we're here today at Gaini, this beautiful conservation agreement in the Hay Plains, learning from the Nari Nari Tribal Council all about the significance of this beautiful place and learning about all the different water birds and the biodiversity that you can find in a wetland. Uh, the structure of today is that we'll have three or four activities in which the kids will rotate around through and uh, the purpose of that is so that they are able to engage with a few different presenters and also have some uh, knowledge uh, throughout the day that is linked to each other so water birds and water bugs and plants and also um, revegetation so they all sort of speak to each other and the kids get a well-rounded view and understanding about those different um, concepts uh, in one day. I didn't know that they like harvest the soil into like using it for different things but they used it in the mud rolling. We're just like rolling different seeds from like wattle into them for them to dry out and then they throw them on the ground into the cracks and that's how the plants grow. We haven't really done anything like this, like come out to a property and like with presenters and like done activities and like learn about the land. I think it's good, they should do more of them. So today I was really hoping to increase uh, students' awareness of the different plants that actually happen to be out there and where they happen to be existing in the landscape. In the end, we need to have a, a great diversity of wetland plants um, as well as water birds out there in the ecosystems because they are indicators for how the health and condition of the landscape. Um, and it's really just about trying to increase their awareness and provide that baseline connection to the environment. I did like the walk we went on, that was pretty good actually, just seeing all the different types of nature and seeing some things we could eat in that long path and just all the le war levels and that where things grow. We got some identification books and we just went along and just looked at some different plants and that and what they were called and what they do and then we sort of wrote them down and tried to find them further along and see if we could remember them. Oh, I think that's sort of like it. It's been, it's been pretty good to learn about this sort of stuff that we wouldn't usually hear. And just doing some of the actually practical activities, not just learning about it in a book or something, like we're actually going out and doing the work. Ag science is what I want to go into. Um, I really love animals and biodiversity and trying to improve it and keep it so that everything flows smoothly for future generations. I knew a lot of the stuff that was told today it was just a bit more information around those things so yeah it definitely helps going into the future. It's pretty amazing to have watched the Champions Project grow over five years. Uh, we've got kids from all over the state learning about biodiversity in their local landscapes and seeing the high school kids come out to this really significant wetland in their local area is pretty impressive.